Hello, my name's Max. I'm a chef here at Brunel University and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a pasta carbonara. I'm going to get my leg ready to go. We're going to chuck that in. I'm going to be putting some, uh, frying some onion. A few cloves of garlic. I like to bash it and then you can just easily take it out like that. And then just roughly chop. So uh, I'm going to show you how to make the bechamel now. We start off with uh, 25 grams of butter and that looks like uh, roughly about that amount. Make sure you haven't got the pan too hot because you don't want the butter to burn, so we'll just stick it in there. If it's too hot, you can just lift it off and you can see uh, removed from the heat and it co instantly cools down. So we'll just swirl that around the pan until it, uh, it's all melted. And then as soon as it's melted, we're going to add the 25 grams of flour, which looks roughly like about that amount. And as soon as the butter starts to bubble, that's when it's time to add the flour. You, you don't want to you don't want to heat it up too much at this stage because otherwise you're going to burn it. So we'll put, let's just add it a little bit at a time. Sometimes I know um, it should be equal quantities of butter and flour, but in my experience, you should also use a little bit of common sense as well. So we swirl that round. So stick a little bit more in, a little bit at a time. Go slowly, add a little bit at a time so that you're not, um, it's not going to be lumpy, it's not going to stick to the bottom, it's not going to burn. There we go, you can see now it's starting to come together. Right, okay, now we've got our roux, it should look something like this and be that kind of uh, texture. So what we're going to do, we're going to cook it until it goes to like a sandy, grainy kind of texture. We want to be very careful not to uh, burn it, so that's on the lowest heat possible there. So I'm going to literally do it a small ladle at a time, so little ladle. When, when you add each ladle of milk, make, try, make sure you've got as many of the lumps out as possible because um, it's easier to get them out when it's um, still quite thick but once, once, it's, once it's more fluid those lumps are harder to take out. There we go, just a little bit at a time. Don't want to add it too quick. And uh, if you find that it's a little bit lumpy, don't worry, we'll just uh, keep cooking it and keep whisking it, you'll get the lumps out eventually. We're gonna season it up a little bit, so a little bit of salt. Can you see that? I'm not sure whether you can see that at home. Um, try not to burn it as you season it. Let's add a little bit. There we go, about that much. Uh, white sauce should coat the back of a wooden spoon, so, so if you draw a line, it should hold there nicely. There we go. I'm going to show you how to do the uh, vegetarian carbonara. So I've got my pan nice and hot, and then we use olive oil. You just want a little squirt just to cook everything and stop it sticking. I'm gonna, I'll show you how much I've got in there. You can see that swirling around. Swirl it round a bit. Right, we're going to uh, heat this up until uh, we see the a little bit of smoke coming off. That means it's ready to cook, but you want to cook straight away then because otherwise uh, it'll catch on fire. You can always chuck one in, onion in, and if it starts fizzing away like that, that means the oil's definitely hot, hot enough if you're not sure. We're going to add about half these onions. We don't need all. There we go. I'm just putting the garlic in now. If you had fresh herbs, you'd put them in last. Mmm, that smells lovely. You can smell the garlic and the tarragon and the onions. It smells really nice. When the onions are starting to get cooked, you can add your leeks and your mushrooms.
It's always a good idea when you're adding things to the pan. Season as you go. I haven't actually seasoned anything yet, so I might compensate for that. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning in now. Because it's better, because the seasoning penetrates um, through the food rather than at the end you just taste food, which with seasoning on top, I think it's better to season as you go. There we go, we'll just let that sweat nicely. That, that, once you've had your leeks and your mushrooms, it'll probably take about five minutes extra to cook, so just stand there and stir it for a little bit. There we go. Yeah, um, if you've taken your bechamel off the stove, it might have uh, thickened up a bit, but don't worry too much, because you can always thin it down again. Just add a little bit, less than you think you'll need. Just stir it and see what it looks like. You can always add more, but you can never take it out. Add a little bit now. There we go, and if it looks like it's a little thicker than you'd like, you can always add a little bit more milk if you've kept some. We want it, we want it to be quite saucy because we're going to add pasta to it, so if it looks too saucy, that's okay. Remember, there's going to be pasta as well. And if you like, you can always add a little drop of cream. It gives it a nice creamy texture. There we go a nice shine to the sauce. Right, here's some pasta that I've already cooked. We'll just put in a little bit. There we go. At this point you can add some uh, freshly grated parmesan. In the uh, usual carbonara we would have put um, bacon in there but this is this is uh, vegetarian where you can do it we've uh, taken out the uh, pancetta and we've used some uh, leek and mushrooms so that's uh, ready to serve now there we go we're getting flakes off of that that's brilliant there we go lovely and we can finish with a little bit of uh, parsley or chives or any herbs really and there you go